For the past few years, Canva has truly transformed the game of photo editing and design. It's constantly evolving with new tools and features to help with the content creation process. One of its standout features is the Canva Magic Studio, a collection of AI tools that are designed to help elevate your content to the next level. So today I'm going to show you my top picks and demonstrate how they seamlessly integrate into my content creation workflow. So are you ready to unleash your creativity? Let's get started. When you come to Canva, click on Magic Studio on the left-hand side, and you will see a variety of tools that are all related to AI. So let's just have a look. It says, meet Magic Studio, all the power of AI, all in one place. It brings together best AI power tools for you and your team right inside of Canva. And inside of this Canva Magic Studio, we can find Magic Design, Magic Design for presentations, Magic Design for video. We have Magic Ride, which works kind of like ChatGPT. So you just provide a text prompt and it would write something for you. We also have Resize and Magic Switch. So this used to be just Resize and now it's called Magic Switch because it also includes other tools such as translation and so on. And I'm going to show you later. Also, we've got Magic Anime. So this is good if you have like some presentation and you want to just add animations all at once. This will be really useful. And we have Magic Morph. So I'm not going to present in this video here because for me, this is not so related to us content creators. But if you want, you can always explore by yourself. Then we've got Magic Media. So this includes text to video and text to image. And we have also a few editing tools. And these tools, I really find them super useful. I'm going to show you one by one. We have things like Magic Edit, Magic Grab, Magic Expand, and so on and so forth. And some of these you can access right with your Canva free plan, but other tools you would at least need a Canva Pro plan. All right, so with that said, let's jump in. The first tool I would like to speak about is Magic Grab. So you can easily grab an object or some text from a photo, and you don't need to use remove background tool and save as PNG. So now, as you can see in this photo, we have a basket of fruits, a picnic basket. And if I don't want the background and I just want this object, this is where Magic Grab comes into play. So we select the photo, click on edit photo and Magic Grab. Then it will automatically grab the object. Then you can now move it around or you can create a new design with this object. This can really come in handy when we're creating thumbnails, for instance, if you have like a vlog or something like that, and you want to grab some of the objects to like showcase in your thumbnail. This is such a good function because in the past I used to, you know, just use remove background and then download it as PNG with like transparent background and then upload it again. It's more hassle than just you know, grab it and within one second, you can use this object. And if you're someone like me, sometimes I just look at these YouTube videos and I have no idea how I can use the magic grab. Here I listed some potential use cases and I'm not going to go through them one by one, but you can pause this video and then just read these ideas. Hopefully it can be useful to you. Like whether you're creating cooking content or travel, fashion, beauty, or you're a fitness influencer, even maybe you create like home decor or lifestyle content, we have something for you. So you can really brainstorm and think about how this magic grab or any other magic studio AI tools can be used to create your content. The next tool I want to talk to you about is called magic expand. And with magic expand, you can expand an image using AI in Canva, and it enables you to correct awkward framing or transform a vertical shot into a horizontal format. So I've got some photos of mine here and I'm going to show you now. Okay, I've got a 
photo of mine here. I haven't tried this, so let's just try it. Let's say I have this vertical photo and now I want it to expand to this frame here. So let's try this. I'll click on Magic Expand and I'll click on Whole Page. Okay, let's give it a second. And just like that, AI detected the environment of this photo and then just created a, an expanded version of the photo. And you can choose among these four. So just see which one seems more natural to you. For me, I think this one looks okay. Yeah, it looks quite good actually. So I'm surprised because I haven't tried it myself with this photo. Now let's just try another photo of mine to see if it works well as well. So I have this photo here. Let's click on Magic Expand, whole page, expand. All right, so we have the four versions again, and I think this time AI has a little bit of difficulty, but it's still okay. I guess this one is okay-ish. Not this one, not this one. So yeah, as you can see, AI is still improving and it is not perfect, but you can try with different photos and it's still a very useful functionality. And now I want to show you one of my favorite tools in the whole Magic Studio, and that is the Magic Eraser and Magic Edit. With these tools, you can easily eliminate some distractions or something you don't want in the background of a photo, or you can even add something. So this is super interesting, and let me show you with the same photos we just did. As you can see, this photo of mine in front of Eiffel Tower, uh, we have some some things that we don't want to see on the picture. And in this case, you can just use magic eraser. So this is whenever you see a crown here, it means it is a pro feature. But let me just use magic eraser and you can adjust the brush size and then just click on the thing that you want to remove and just magically it disappeared. We have still one here, so let me do the same. And now we have a much cleaner photo and it looks much nicer as well. And if you want to change something or add something in a photo, you can also do that with the magic edit. So here we have a um, interior photo with this vase here, but let's say I want to change it just click on edit photo again and choose magic edit. So this one can be used even in free plan. And we will do something similar. We will brush on the areas that we want to edit. So let me just quickly do that. Gonna brush and just carefully try to cover everything. Okay then click continue. And here you can just type in something that you want to edit. So for instance, let's do roses in a vase and see how it goes. Generate. And as you can see now, this looks really natural actually, apart from this little point here, but you have other choices. I like this one a lot. This really fits in and uh, I mean, the vase is a bit weird, but this really fits in the photo and it looks really good. And this is basically how you can edit anything on your photo. You can add something even if you want to add. Um, yeah, let's just try it now. So I'm going to brush here where I want to add something. Okay. Now continue and I'll type artwork in a frame. Um, modern artwork in a frame. Let's see. We have a few options and I think this one works okay, but it's not the best. 
This one works, but doesn't go with the deco at all. But you understand the idea. You can add anything or edit your photos just like that. And if you don't know where you can use this magic edit or eraser tool, I have included some ideas such as product photography, travel photography. You can just like I did remove some tourists or you can enhance some natural features or you can remove or add something in your interior design photos. So that is very useful and I love it. Next, let's move on to the magic media. So in magic media, you have text to image generator and text to video. So let's just give it a try. To access it, click on apps and then look for magic media. And here you have it. So let's just type in a prompt such as robot typing on computer. Here you can choose the style. So let's try photo and you can choose the aspect ratio as well. So I want something with a landscape aspect ratio. Let's generate an image. So it will take a little bit of time, but usually within seconds you have your results. And now you have these photos that you can just use in your Canva designs. And now let's try videos. Let's just do the same prompt to see what we can get. And usually with videos, you will wait a little longer. So we will see what kind of results we'll get. But if you haven't already, I also have a video talking about hyper AI. So this is also a text to video generator that works really well. So just give that a try as well. And here is the video clip. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think this looks okay, but this is not a computer, right? So if you don't like it, you can always generate again or even give this a feedback. But that's basically magic media. Now let's move on to the next one, which is going to be magic design for presentations. So we have already seen magic design. You can design all kinds of things. You can design posters, you can design social media posts or things like that. But you can also just with one click basically and a prompt to create a whole presentation. Now, of course, I wouldn't use it as this, but if you have really no idea where to start your presentation or your pitch, then this is a good tool for you. So let's come back to this page and let's find the magic design for presentations. Click on try now. And it will create a new design. Here you have a few steps to walk you through what you should do. And I have tried a few. So let's just create this presentation about minimalism. Okay. So I click that. And here you have the usual templates that you can choose from, but also you will see here on the top, you see magic design. So this is the presentation that Canva basically just created for you. It includes the layout as well as the text. So let me show you. Let's just click on this one and apply all seven pages. And as you can see within just less than one second, I would say you have this presentation and the style is really nice. This is like a transition page, I guess you have some photos, you have some title and even the text. And it talks about the essence of minimalism. So it's not only layout, it's not only like a template, it also includes text. So this is the magic of it. But of course, if I'm presenting something, then I'm not going to just use this as is. I'm going to bring in my own ideas and my photos. But let's just look at the rest of the pages. So we have this little quote. It gives you uh, some ideas to work on and to personalize your own presentation and your slides, which is great. You have some other art of minimalism. You have a really aesthetic page here with a little quote. And here are the seven pages. So if you don't like this layout, you can always click here, see all, and you will have a few other choices. But I think the first or even second one look quite good. And that's how you create a presentation with one click. 
And what's even more practical now in Canva Magic Studio is that once you have this presentation or any other document, you can translate it with the Magic Switch tool, which is the next tool that I want to talk to you about. So this is the presentation that we just created. And if you click on Resize and Magic Switch, so as I said, this used to be Resize. So you can resize it to like square or any other dimensions you want. But if you want, you can also translate the document. So let me just show you an example. If I translate into Chinese, for instance, And within seconds, you have a new presentation that's in Chinese. I speak Chinese, so I can have a look if this is correct. And as I can see now, this looks really great. So everything translated really well. Now, apart from translation, you can also resize this presentation. So if we click on resize and magic switch, then you go to anything here. I'll do an Instagram post, maybe. Then you can preview it. And if you like it, then you can change this to Instagram post, just like that. And that was everything that I wanted to talk to you about today in the Canva Magic Studio. There are so many other tools also in the apps that you can explore. But for me still, I love the photo editing tools. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to try Canva Pro for yourself, click on the link down below. If you found today's video helpful, go ahead and smash that like button right now. I'm on a mission to discover new AI tools to help you elevate your content creation game. And feel free to also check out my other content like AI thumbnail creation, AI talking avatars, and much, much more. So I wish you a fantastic day ahead and I'll catch you in the next video.